In this English lesson, I will teach you how to use walk, take a walk, and go for a walk. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, real fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the difference in how to use walk, go for a walk, and take a walk. And be sure to watch this whole video because at the end I will have a quiz so that you can test yourself and see how much you remember. Now, walk. I'm sure you know what the word walk means. It means to move with your legs, like I'm walking back and forth here. I think you know that one. Well, let's do some sample sentences so you can see how it's used. Would you like to go for a walk? The weather is nice today. We could walk outside instead of drive. I need someone to walk my dog when I am away. Most days I walk on a treadmill for exercise and have a goal of 10,000 steps each day. Now in baseball, the word walk is also used to mean to get to first base by not swinging at four pitches that are balls and I really don't know sports so I don't understand it that well. But in the context of baseball, to walk may mean something different. Sometimes it's also used to mean to go free, as in, although there was evidence against him, he walked free because the police didn't investigate him properly. Now, to take a walk implies more that you aren't really going any place. For example, you might take a walk just to enjoy a nice day or just to get some exercise. Walk or hike, what's the difference between those? To hike is to walk, but it usually means to walk longer, di longer distances for fun or exercise. Many times in a more rugged terrain, like in a forest or a more wild, less developed area. Sometimes it's also used to mean to leave and to take a hike or take a walk. It can mean to leave or to quit. As in, he told them politely but firmly to take a hike. It means he's telling them to leave. Interesting, I think, in Mandarin, the word zo means to walk, but it can also mean to leave. Now, there are also over 50 idioms that use the word walk. I don't have time to teach all those in this lesson, but maybe sometime I will teach them in another lesson. So, now it's time for the short quiz to test yourself and see how much you remember. So, fill in the blanks with either walk, take a walk, or another phrase used in this lesson. Number one, it's nice out this evening. Would you like to go for a blank? Number two, his boss was really angry with him and told him to what? Number three, my dog was in the house all day and really needs someone to blank her for a blank. Okay, the answers will be in the description. Please try to answer on your own first, either by yourself or in the comments. And again, as usual, if you want more practice, then you can try making your own sentences with any of these words or phrases in the comments and I can correct them or give you feedback on those. And also you can practice any other English also and I can help you with that. And that's all for this lesson. So before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel over here. If you would like more English help from me, then click down here so you can get some free ebooks and other things from me to help you improve your English even more. And if you have time, then down here is a link to another English lesson for me. That's all for now. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.